goodness. Oh. Oh. Kind of coming in. He's. Oh. oh. My gosh. You got it. It's a good fish, buddy. That is a good fish. Come on, man. I'll do whatever it takes. Well, hey there. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm fishing with my granddad's 30 year old fishing gear. So, my granddad let me go into his fishing man cave and he gave me this gigantuous tackle box and he said, fill it up. Just fill her up. We have bandit crankbaits, chatter baits, some of the craziest looking plastics I've ever seen. Square bills, jigs, crappy spins. We're gonna crack this thing on open. See what all is in this 30 year old tackle array. The first thing that grabs my attention is the 30 year old chatter bait. This thing has been around for so long and I don't even think they changed the design of this lure at all. It's still just whacking all the sallies. I think I got a couple of different weights. We got the half ounce right here. And then we also have a fourth of an ounce. It's a little sartreuse, a little watermelon. But the crazy thing is, even though these things are 30 years old, I think they're identical to the ones they make and sell today. This thing's just a beast. They don't sponsor the channel. They don't like me at all, but you gotta tip your hat to a good lure. Also, my man Colton right here, he's gonna be fishing with me. You guys probably remember him from this. Oh gosh. Oh, this is actually his family's lake, the same lake I told you we would come back and prove to you there was some good fish in here. Last time I came, dude, caught some dinks. Well, maybe just you can't fish, but you're not good. With it. <laughs> well, I'm gonna let you take the chatterbait. He's been talking about it all morning. I love the chatterbait. I'm gonna let you get on in there, son. Grab your chatterbait, get to work. Moving on, bait number two, the bandit. We also have second with a little bit longer bill. What's kind of crazy is these lures are so close to the lures we fish with today. It's just the package is a little different. The eyes are a little different. And they moved the little shad dot right there to the middle of the back. But besides that, it's pretty much the same lure. Of course, we got the tackle. We have some laser hooks, some crappy spins. These things are the same exact lure as they are today. But here's where stuff gets interesting. We have the hammering hair jig. The third lure is a rabbit hair jig. Now it says it's for bass. I've never seen a hair jig for bass. The thing looks so weird, man. Go ahead, crack it open, see how it feels. So it feels just like a normal jig head and like a actual rabbit is in my hand i don't know what that's supposed to imitate this thing's got me weirded out man that's that's definitely from a generation before mine continuing on with the weird 30 year old baits we have a 30 year old bait that is made of solid wood it's called the wood chopper it's basically a prop bait One. Oh, my boy's tight. Oh, he's fighting. Oh, there we go. Chatterbait. Chatterbait. Putting in the work. 30 years old, still does it. Good fish, man. Redeeming yourself. Yep. One video at a time. Go ahead, crack this bad boy open. I don't want to break the packaging. It's kind of like antique. Oh, good hooks. Another cool lure. I think this one might be a little too late in the day, but we're still going to throw everything we can. I am excited. Handcrafted baits have always been something that I kind of find intriguing. Boom. Since 1894, it's called a Zara Puppy. This thing looks kind of like a smaller smaller spook almost some sort of floating walking bait if i had to guess potentially one of my favorite lures of all time the walking spook springs out the nastiness in the sallies the fin shad wonker city so i'm guessing this is what flukes used to look like I'm gonna go ahead and open this pack up try not to just shatter these packs because i would like to keep them around 
just looks so obese. The tummy girth of this fluke is just absurd. Because it's so fat, I don't know if it's still gonna have that darting motion that the newer kind of slender flukes have today. Or maybe they're just the absolute sauce. I'm sick of Colton whacking all the sallies by himself. But before we rig up, let me show you the coolest part of this 30 year old fishing hole. The Shimano, dude. Like six months ago, I had a subscriber give me one and I fell in love with it. They make some of the best reels on the planet. You don't need them, but you can get them. Today though, we're gonna be fishing with a 30 year old reel. They make different series of the Calcutta. This is an older and more antique version of the reel and it's already mounted with some 50 pound braid. But enough talk folks. Let's put my granddad's 30 year old gear up to the test already doing good i we've got two fish in the freaking intro i think i'm gonna put the ozera puppy on the 30 year old braid combo and then put the weightless obese shad fin whatever you call this thing on the normal shimano we were doing like a hooks are still pretty short what is going on over there dude Crap, of course. There's a fish around. Andrew's gonna catch a backpack with his braid. First cast with the Shimano, 30 year old. Not really sure what the speed is on this gear ratio. It's kind of like a little buzz bait. Stop. So every cast, this bait is just sucking braid up. Like it's a freaking job. Oh, Colton. That was a vintage, dude. That was a freaking vintage, man. <laughs> dude, it's every cast, and I don't know how to prevent it. Let's try the old fluke daddy over here. Oh, my gracious. My drag's jet. Oh, that's a good fish. That's like the best fish I've caught out of here, dude. That's not, that's not a bad one. Something's going on my line, dude. Thanks, man. Heck yeah. Oh, it's another line. Oh, Are you kidding no, me? No, no, no. Oh, you got stuck on the tree. I was like, what is happening right now? Thanks, brother. Dude, So there was some weird stuff dude, happening. Stuff. First fish for your boy on Grand Diddy's fishing lures. Let's go ahead and get this guy back into the water. Soon as I set the hook, it felt like I had an eight pounder. Fish didn't come up. The drag slipped all the way. And then when I got it to the bank, I hooked into a tree and the fish slid up the line. I was seeing like a two or a three pounder right by the bank and it felt like I had an eight on. My brain was just like, I... Heck yeah, man, the fluke strikes. I wanna keep fishing it just a little bit longer because I do have the most faith in the fluke. And then I think we might move over to a bandit. See how it does. So moving on, I'm gonna go with the bandit. I'm gonna go with the shorter bill. The other one is pretty much the same color, but I think it's gonna dive a lot deeper with that long bill just one of the grassiest lakes I've ever fished so hopefully this doesn't dive that deep dang it this was my fear yeah this could be the most impossible pond to fish any sort of crankbait Day two, folks. I don't want to do a lot of talking. We're going to get right back to fishing. Picked up Davy Gravy. I abandoned Colton because his fish stopped biting. Got the next victim of the channel right here. We have a chatterbait, which I'm going to go ahead and claim at this body of water. I think this is going to be the sauce, as Jay would put it. A fish has not been caught on this, though, and it looks perfect for this lake, dude. Are you kidding me? 30 year old crankbait just went to crap on us, Davis. 
Well, I guess 30 years took its toll on that one. Let's see if we got another one in there. I think you have a good chance of catching one on this, man. Okay, 30 year old spinner bait. That looks like a shad and this looks like a shad. We have a little double shad imitation. I love that blade, man. And your boy is throwing the sartreuse chatterbait with the 30 year old trailer rusted old blade on the front. But look at this thing in the water. I don't know if you guys can see that. The movement is freaking perfect. Gosh, this thing's gonna get smoked. Also on my fluoro combo, I've rigged up the rat hair, not the rat hair, the rabbit hair jig, which is just so absurd to me. The more I say it, it just sounds crazier and crazier. Go over me, over me. Oh, nice. It's all right. Break? No, it's still there. Okay. Nothing. Have died that bad. It was like it hit the rocks and just stopped, dude. to do in today's video but the show must go on not gonna lie this kind of sucks but oh my god i almost just went in shout out to the handful of subscribers that actually watch paddle boat videos <laughs> please still watch i'm giving this everything i got <laughs> please don't leave this video went from bank fishing to john boat fishing to paddle boat fishing in about 30 seconds the amount of suckery involved is very high all right all we're bringing is 30 year old fishing gear and cameras nothing else and if this thing breaks then i'm sinking it and we're going down with it <laughs> that's where i'm at right now davy i'm ready to lose everything <laughs> if it can go wrong it will go wrong <laughs> So Davis's favorite bait of all time is the Yum Dinger. And while we don't have any stick baits inside of old granddad's tackle box here, we do have some 30 year old Texas rig hooks. They have the nice indention, nice barb, they're eagle claw, so you know eagle claw's been around. Hand me that dadgum Zebco, you Zebco. Hand me that dadgum Zebco. Hand me that dadgum Zebco. <laughs> Freaking rig up a, a Yum Dinger for my boy. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and eat a few of these hooks and just see what happens. <laughs> All right, well, let's see here today. Today and today's uh, 30 year old Bass Pro Shop. Oh, 30 year old Bass Pro Shop. Pro Shop not bag. this weekend, for sure not. <laughs> this hook is 30 years old, I promise you. Woo! Spider on my hand, not a spider guy. Good <laughs> lord. There you go. Yes, sir, Daddy. Let me go catch that five real quick. I'm gonna eat him. <laughs> no, we're not. No, we're <laughs> No, we're not eating fives, folks. It's only Davy. <laughs> Gonna be yo yoing this 30 year old chatterbait till the day I die. I have to do a pee. Is there a place to like you can pee or anything? If you, you, know, if, if, you, you can't pee until the video's done, Davis. Until this video's done, you're not allowed to have bodily function. <laughs> I'm not allowed I'm about to have your pleasure. Have any what? <laughs> Jeez Louise, Davis. We got kids watching this, you sicko. Oh my gosh. Holy oh, shoot. I saw it. Dang it. All right, man. I'm not playing I with saw you it. Guys. I uh, saw that. Yeah, I thought that was a fish. That hook set was somewhat better. We need to get some circle hooks into the mix. Matter of fact, we might have some. This looks like an old baseball card. We might leave this out if Davey continues to set the hook like my great aunt. Fish? Yes! That's a good one, dude. It's a good one. On the... 
Oh, he's under the... Oh, gosh, dog. Yo. Is it in you? No, let go of the ride, let go of the ride. Yo, you're good. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Dude. Oh. Dude, I was like, why can't I move my rod? What's going on with my rod? You had it like trying to help me. No, I, was, I was just I like. Was, I was just trying to grab the fish. I was trying to grab your rod. No, 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 no. Dude, that's a healthy fish for this lake, man. <laughs> Dude, this video has been a grind. Oh my lord. 30 year old chatter. Came right out of his mouth. Was barely in there. Wow. I can't believe he didn't check that out. Dude, this reel actually did pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I think the gear ratio might be a little bit lower than what we have nowadays. Get this guy a dip and we'll show him to you. Boom, dude. We finally did it. We're breaking rods, but we caught fish on my granddad's 30 year old combos. Let's get this fish back into the water. I don't know what happened to that fish's tongue, but I hooked it in the top of the mouth. You can see that wound right there. Woo! See you buddy. I went to help him and he just kicked right on off. I got to stand up to stretch my legs out. As I stand up, I'm filling this up with water. It is what it is. Davis pound it for the assist. I, I guess you could call it that. Maybe the block depends on your terminology, but the fish has been landed. The Sartreuse chatterbait on a 30 year old Shimano. Crank the biggin, crank the biggin. Now the only thing left is a rabbit hair jig and I don't have a lot of faith in it, but I'm gonna fish it till, till the sun goes down. We're gonna give it the best shot we got. Whew, not gonna lie, probably the hardest video I've ever filmed. One pond shuts down, one boat stops working, paddle boat half a mile, Davy Gravy with the assist. Let's get back to kicking this thing along, Davy, and see if we can't find any more biggins. On for the day. Davis? Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh. Free. Oh, I missed the hook. Spot. Oh, He's good. He's doing acrobatics. Fish. He's doing Oops. acrobatics. We're bringing them to daddy. Come on, just flip them in. You got them. All right, all right. Woo! Come on, Davey. Oh, shit. Just watching the fish. I gotta give them in, dude. <laughs> there it is, Davey. I knew I got slapped and Davey made a follow-up cast right behind me. Step it up, bro. Yes, sir. We stuck with it, dude. Finally. We've been fishing six hours, man. Seriously. Good fish, Davey. Get him back into the water. Did it, did it fight good? Oh, yes, it did. Dude, I thought you had a big fish on, man. That's not a bad one, though. Good fish, man. Let's get him on back. With the classic Davy Gravy release. <laughs> what sucks the worst about that fish catch is that I was changing the battery on the GoPros, and we weren't running for the hook set. I got it rolling. We got most of the fight. It's just going to go from calm to chaos in the video, but good fish, man. Pound it. Way to stay in there, man. We've been fishing six hours. For some reason, Davey has this new habit where he just lets fish hang out right by the boat. Doesn't flip them in, just lets them swim hours at a time. <laughs> it's all good, I understand it is a beautiful sight to see, especially when you've been fishing for six hours. Let's get back in there, Davey. Keep on fishing with some 30 year old gear. I know that's a new yum dinger, but that eagle claw is every bit of 30 years, man. Every bit. God, dog, Davis. They love the rocks, man. Yeah, I do. Rock. Yep. Got me on the log. Okay. Oh. Ugh. Got him? Yep. Right up, right up. How's it feel? Ooh, good fish, dude. Good fish. Where is he at? He's coming. Oh, he's pulling good. That's pulling a good fish, good. dude. Not bad at all. Pretty Not good. bad. Bring him to daddy. Bring him to daddy. Oh, he hit me in the face. I belly grabbed him. Ooh. Let's go, Davey. We've been fishing for hours. I was like, you know those boulders under the water? There's gotta be a fish in there. Show enough. 
I'm falling in and sinking the boat, but we landed the fish. It's such a good feeling when the day is just crap mm -hmm. and you say, you know what? Let's let's do not give up. Let's get into the freaking paddle boat. <laughs> Nobody paddle boats. Huh. Let's get in that paddle boat. And they said the man didn't have a hook set. <laughs> good fish, Davey. That 30 year old eagle claw hook is putting in work. I can't believe it's still remaining and keeping its integrity with these chunky little fish. All right, let's get a release. There he went, he swam off. All right, sweet, pound it. Oh, oh, fish. how good. I'm not sure yet. It's pulling the boat some. It's kind of coming in He's Oh, oh my gosh. You got it. You got it. Keep fighting. You're doing great. It's a good fish, buddy. That is a good fish. Come on, man. I'll, I'll do whatever it takes for this fish. Ride down, ride down, ride down. Language, language. Rick. What happened? It was like your line was grinding on I your know, rod I tip. I was raw, I was really. You did great, dude. It was like your, did you hear your rod yes, tip? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it was like your line started grinding. Dang. That was huge. Huge buddy. Hey, man. Look, man, drink you some blue Gatorade. Just breathe. That was a big one. That was the five, six pounder. Ah, dang. You did a great hook set. The boat started moving and I just was climbing everywhere. I was about to dive in for it. Next time I got close to the boat, I was going in. I didn't I care. I thought I had him right here real close up where he's going to get. I really don't know what the heck happened. I really want to know what the heck happened. It that the line popped, man. The drag didn't I mean, give yeah, good. Like, the like, line just popped. I'm not like I'm, don't, I'm not going off on you. I get that, like. But what the hell happened? I mean, he went all the way over here. He went all the way over here, back to that gum San Diego, back to that gum Los Angeles, back to San Diego, and the line just said, "I'm done." What the hell? I mean, it's part of it, man. I mean, I, you were going anywhere to get him. I, like, I, like, it wasn't nothing you wasn't doing to help me out. You was going to get him. Like, I, you can like, tell. I, I, he was, I'm, I, what I got to do to go get this fish? Like, yeah. what the hell do I got to do? I'm like, go in if you got to. Like, dang. Gosh, dang it. Stop it. Stop it. Put the rod down if you're going to have a hissy fit. Oh. Could be another nice spot, man. Spinning the boat. There he is. Oh, it's just a dink. <laughs> Come here, man. Don't get Davy. Don't get Davy. <laughs> Not a bad fish. Every Not fish bad. now that bites, we're just thinking, is that the one? <laughs> is that the six pounder that Davy? Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. Whoa. It's like a live well I've been sinking over here. <laughs> Oh shoot! You get a little fishes on there. Second for your boy on day two. <laughs> Came on the thirty-year-old reel. I'm kind of enjoying using this. I'm not gonna lie. It's better than some of the reels they make today, because they don't make them like they used to. Yeah, for real zip for bullet. I'll tell you what, it's something else. Well, folks at home, I think that is a wrap. I, I don't really think we we can do anything else after that. That was a deafening blow. We did land a fish right after we miss that gigantic fish i was ready to do anything to land that fish i was ready to jump in and, and ruin this gopro i was ready to do whatever it took the fact that you would have caught your pb out of a paddle boat after i'm on like my third try of a video would have been it it suits the video that you lost your pb because this video has just been full of just downward spiraling sometimes filming these things it's not always as easy as it looks but i'm so thankful it's my job i'm thankful that I get to get up and call this my career. Shout out to the granddad, shout out to the 30 year old chatterbaits 
and all the other crazy lures we got to fish with. Got to hang out with two of my best pals, fish with some fishing buddies. Hope you guys enjoyed this Sally Whacking escapade, and I can't wait to see you on the next one. Say some prayers for Davey. We're gonna get him on a big one, no worries. I love you guys, I really do. Can you do it? Watch me whip. Watch me, nay, nay. Ooh, watch me, watch me, ooh.